often are you at Spike Hill? I'd say every, I don't know, every two, two to three weeks. Well, th there is the talk show with, 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 uh, uh, at Over the Eight. Right, the talk show series that you've been hosting, then, which is nearby at the other bar, Over the Eight. This is the first stop in Brooklyn. I get off here, you know, the show over, at Over the Eight is at like 8.30 or something like that, 8 o'clock. I don't really have to be there till 7.30, 7.45. And I like to come here to sit in one of those back uh, enclosures so I can just sort of get my head together. Right. For the show. And then um, and go over my notes and just sort of make sure that I got some kind of structure in, uh, in my head. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but even, even before that, uh, first time I ever came in here, and I don't know when it was. Our food's arrived. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. And thanks a lot. Uh, you know, I was like, can we stay here for like five hours? <laughs> the first time you were here? Yeah, I was like. So what, what was it that you, you liked so much about it? You know, again, it might have been those those enclosures in the back. It just felt like a like a, a deprivation tank. It just, you know, the outside world was shut out, uh, and and I was able to have some kind of like a, a, a semblance of privacy with the, the person I was with. So when would you say that you started coming out here? In 1990. 1990. You shot a movie over here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Uh, actually, on on North First Street, on the on the stoop of my friend's building that I was just talking mm -hmm. about. And he lived there at the time too, but I didn't know him. Uh, and the movie was called Billy Bathgate. It was directed by Robert Benton. Uh, uh, it was based on an E.L. Doctorow novel about the prohibitionary gangster Dutch Schultz played by Dustin Hoffman in that movie. And I, I played a character uh, uh, named Arnold Garbage. and. Uh, we shot a lot of it. A lot of it was shot out here. So, so that was probably the first time I ever came out here. I mean, that was decades ago. Yes, literally so decades. Talk to me a little bit about the Williamsburg, Brooklyn of 1990 when you first came out here. And that's even before Spike Hill was here. Uh, versus the Spike Hill. <laughs> Which is why I like Spike Hill right because I don't know. To me, it just it has a, like a, 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 a thing about it that feels like it could have been around back then. I, I don't know, it just kind of feels sort of warm and kind of nice in here, doesn't it? So it absolutely. Um, and I, I, do I don't mean, you know, the temperature. It is warm in here, <laughs> but I mean, it just has a, an integrity about it mm -hmm. and, a, and a warmth that, I, I, uh, that appeals to me. And it's right off of the, 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 the Bedford, Bedford uh, L train. L train. Why does the integrity of a place or the warmth appeal to you? I don't know. I just, I just know when something isn't right. I walk out, you know. Right. But this is like kind of like an Irish pub, you know, like a, a, a traditional sort of. Um, we could be in Ireland right now. <laughs> All right, Williamsburg, Ireland. Yeah. Now you brought up your uh, talk show series that you've been doing in the neighborhood. Yeah. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit with you as well. I, I've, I've always been curious to, to see certain people put certain people in a room together you know like my I, I, I you know I'm, I'm, I'm making lists of, of uh, you know uh, uh, potential you know panels that we could have like one I came up with that I think would be personally would be Edie Falco the edge and Dick Cavett <laughs> I think like all of those people would get a kick out of each other, mm -hmm. and I would be just like in heaven, right. you know, uh, uh, because Edie's a great actress, but I also have known her since the early 90s, and I know I can talk with her. That's the mm -hmm. thing, it's like I know I can have a conversation with most of the people who do the show. Mm -hmm.